As long as I could remember, uh, there was a war. It's improving, uh, but there are still a lot of insecurities in the country. Most of the deliveries are complicated deliveries. We usually struggle to save the mother and the baby. As a doctor, you have to deal with the normal complications, but here you have to deal with every aspect, with the family, with the beliefs, with the traditions, you have to manage all that and try to convince the family, not only medically, but from other superstitions they have. Woman, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go Markian the best of Kafka, For me, it is very rewarding if I save the mother and the baby. But sometimes, when you lose the baby, you save the mother, but the mother is without a baby. But if you save the both, you bring a new life to this world. It is hard to explain, but it's a very rewarding experience. We need a lot of awareness for the people, especially to come to the health centers. They need uh, proper training, proper attitude, proper equipment, proper supplies, a little bit of everything. I choose to stay here because it is my country and there is no other place I'd rather be than in my country. My country needs me. They say Somalia is the worst country that a mother give birth to. That is one of the things I want to change. I don't think there is any country in the world where UNFPA's work is more pertinent and more important. I'm Anders Thompson. I am the UNFPA representative to Somalia. I am optimistic about Somalia. We are looking at statistics today and of course there's still a lot of work to be done in Somalia. But on the upside, we do see some really positive signs. The work that we are doing with the government has already shown results. We see it in the indicators, we see it in the feedback that we are getting from service providers and beneficiaries. You know, I'm invigorated when I see the Somali women. I see them smiling, I see them being strong, I see them leading the way. I think we just need to give them a little nudge and then the uptick in development and improvement and, and, and search for prosperity will automatically be stimulated.